I started by driving to Home Depot to get my supplies. I grabbed a roll of sprinkler line. I brought the pipe home and I unrolled the pipe onto my yard as straight as I could get it. Next, we measured out 20 feet of pipe. We cut the pipe at 20 feet and then we repeated this process three times. Here are all three of the cut pipes. I'm gonna take these brooms from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna remove the handle from the broom. Here are all the brooms and I needed six of them for this project. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map out where I want each of the archways to go. So I'm gonna do that along here. Next, I'm gonna place the stake in the ground and I'm gonna hammer it into the ground, but long enough sticking out of the ground for the project. And I'm just using a rubber mallet to pound them into the ground. The next thing I'm gonna do is slide the pipe onto the pole. That you're and then I'm gonna do this to the other side as well. So you can see how easy that was, just putting the archways up. So stake and arch, super easy, anyone can do it. Now it's time to add the lights. So I started by laying an extension rod along their rocks and it will come out at the bottom. Now you can use any lights that you want. I'm going to start with some white lights. Depending upon what occasion you're doing, you can create different looks with these. So like all white might be great for a wedding and you know, you've got your holidays, you've got graduation, you've got different things of the year that you could do this concept for. So the first arch is all wrapped and we're going to talk about the plug on the bottom. And so we're at the bottom and we're gonna plug it in, but we're wrapping the excess around so that we don't have as much dead space. So we're gonna pull the line straight and then we're gonna go over here and wrap it around the base of the next one so that it stays into place. Now we're gonna continue winding up the next pole and I'll show you what it looks like as I finish looping all of these lights on the arches. Now I have a little bit of extra lighting. Um, you could either leave it at the base or wind it back up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it back to this other arch and help make this walkway a little more clear. And I might define it on the other side as well. So it's all ready and I'm really thrilled with how it turned out. You could twist these tighter and have more lights closer together and use more strands of lights if you want. Okay, so it's all ready and I'm so excited about how big this is and I think it's gonna look great this evening. I hope this inspires you to build an archway of your own. They're super easy and anyone can do it and great for so many occasions just what I need for my latest project, hula hoops. You're gonna to wanna to take your hula hoops and take some metallic paint that's made for plastics. Get an area where you won't mind any of the overspray, which I've protected, and you're going to paint these gold. Now you're gonna to want to get some kind of a clear sealer. I'm using this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. After you're sure that you have got your hula hoop nice and gold and no nicks, you're gonna want to spray with a light coat of the glaze. And that will keep any nicks from forming in the, or getting knocked in the plastic. Right here, we're going to drill a hole in each side of the gold um, painted hula hoops. Even though I was really careful, you can see that some of the paint uh, scraped away. I would still paint these ahead of time and seal them ahead of time but I will be going back over this after I get it assembled. So time to assemble our hoops. I'm going to put one hoop inside the other and try and line up my holes where I have drilled. And I'm going to go outside and push all the way through and then I'm going to push it through the next one. So I have it through two hoops like so and now I need to get it through the third one. 
There we go. I had it through all three, and then before it slips back off, I'm going to put a nut on that. And when I paint these, this will get painted also. After you have screwed your hula hoops together, right there and right up there, the top and the bottom, you're going to kind of have an orb. I'm going to take a dollar store decorative cake tray and put a small hole in it. The way I'm going to put the hole in there is just with an old, very sad old glue gun. It's on high temperature and I'm just going to put it right down. I'll turn it sideways so you can see right in the middle of there and I won't even have to get it over very far, uh, put it very far through there. That is probably all we need. And now I'm going to try and put this right over top of that screw. You don't need to force this so that it cracks your plate just to hold it there. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some Gorilla Clear Grip Contact Adhesive. I am going to secure the plate right here to my hula hoop. In addition to gluing the plate, use that same Gorilla Clear Grip. If you like all-purpose adhesive better, you can. And I'm going to put a generous amount wherever these hoops meet. Now, I need to have this hanging, which is how it's going to eventually be. So I am working in my garage and I have just hung it from my garage door with some wire. So now I can go to work on the easy part. The construction of this was the hard part. With your glue gun on low temperature, what you're gonna do is put a generous amount and then we're gonna stick a chunk of styrofoam and that will secure it to our plastic plate. I've gotten out all of my fairy lights and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take them, if you want this to be permanent, you can use hot glue, but I don't want this to be permanent. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and tape these with clear floral tape right around my styrofoam on my plate. So I've placed six different packs of fairy lights around so that there'll be one to go up each of the pieces of hula hoop. And I'm just going to take some of this clear tape and tape them all down to my plastic plate so that they nothing falls off. When they're all taped down, I'm going to start taking them and wrapping them around my hula hoop um, all the way up to the top. And I want to, I do want to make sure down here where the cord is, hasn't got any lights on it, that I, I'm not using that. I want to make sure that my lights start way down at the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do, now that I have my lights secure, my styrofoam here, is I'm going to make a flower arrangement that kind of flows down. If your stems are stiff enough, you will be able to take them and push them right into your styrofoam and they will hold. So I'm gonna start with some uh, flat eucalyptus greenery and add that all the way around. And then for me, a natural for this would be wisteria that hangs down. Same thing, my stems are stiff enough so I can just stick them right in and I'm gonna let them flow right down over our whole contraption here. So I've raised this up a little bit so that you can see it a little better. And I'm just gonna continue adding my white wisteria and moving up, not all down around the bottom edge. So that's how you take hula hoops and make a beautiful chandelier particularly gorgeous outside in your garden. Wonderful for a garden party or just for summertime.